is up, y'all? Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever it is for you. I hope you're all having a great day today, and welcome back to another vlog. Got a little bit of a different video here today. I've been like struggling over the last few days to figure out when the next vlog I was going to film was gonna happen and today is the day. Now over the summer you guys know that I started MJC The Outdoorsman and I talked about in a vlog about a month or two ago that I kind of pushed all of the cooking videos that I like to do over to that channel. However, I'm more transitioned into when I actually am able to start filming videos again only really wanting to do cooking videos on the campfire or just outdoors in general on that channel so we got ourselves a little bit of a cooking video here for today's vlog I do apologize at the beginning if I make you hungry but the whole vlog is not going to be entirely about food I am going to find ways to film other things throughout the rest of my day while the food is cooking and then also obviously make a majority of it about the video seems like a good idea hopefully it turns out good and I can entertain you guys first thing is first on our list we need to get this oven preheated to 325 degrees and the reason we're starting dinner at 4 30 in the afternoon is because we are making a pork shoulder today or pork roast or pork shoulder butt roast whatever you want to call it and this is gonna take about three hours to cook so this should be done between 7 and 7 30 it says two to three hours I always go for the longest of the estimated times but we got to get this all prepped and ready to go in the oven so I've got the roast all right here here, rinsed off, cut some of the fat off, and what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna cut some slits because I have an onion, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the onion chopped up, and I'm gonna be putting little chunks of onion inside these slits. I did this with several different roasts before this, and it just puts so much flavor, it puts that caramelized onion flavor inside of the roast, and I love it. Before we actually get to work on any more of the roast, gonna get this onion all cut up. I'm not really happy for this because I do not want the waterworks, but that's what comes with the territory of cutting onions indoors. When I cut onions outdoors for an MJC The Outdoorsman episode, I didn't have any tears because I was outside and the aroma didn't bother me. This is gonna, this is gonna suck for the next two minutes. cut up we're gonna grab some of them and we're gonna layer them in the bottom of the pan got the rest of the onions over here up in the top of the screen gonna use those obviously on top of the rows but now we're gonna get this all seasoned up and we're actually gonna flip this over and do the bottom side first because we're gonna actually be putting the onions in the slits and you don't want any of those to fall out so we're gonna start it out with a layer of garlic powder press it all in and then some honey hickory rub. Now let's grab some onions. all seasoned up we are gonna get it over here in the pan and I'm sorry if you cannot see me I kind of just don't feel like touching the camera well I've got these gloves on right now and boy that smells freaking amazing so it's time to get this all cleaned up and the roast in the oven roast is in the oven now we just sit and wait and when we get probably about to an hour to 45 minutes till it's done then we'll start working on the side dishes 
But for now, I'm just gonna go about the rest of my day, get some stuff done, and try to film some other things to keep you guys entertained. I guess I am honestly taking this TikTok thing very seriously. I have already posted 10 videos so far, 11 followers, and 130 page likes. And you can ignore the fact that I follow 115 people. We know that with every single social media that I have, that I tend to just follow willy-nilly all over the place. But I have to laugh because I used to make fun of this app when it was musically. I had it as a joke when it was musically a few years ago. And then I got rid of it because I just got so bored of making a joke out of it. And it, it just got old. And then I started watching Gary Vee again this year after I took a little bit of break for some reason from watching him. And then I got this app and I'm enjoying it and having fun. And it's like awesome content. I feel like this renewed creative imagination every time I put stuff up on there. So head down to the link in the description below check it out give me a follow like some of the posts and expect some awesome content there moving on to the next part of dinner I've already got two pots full of water right here I'm gonna be making some mashed potatoes and some corn on the cob Skipped past cutting up the potatoes, putting them in the pot, and getting them going. Now, we just sit here and wait again. Just did a little bit of a temperature check on the pork. I may have left it in a little bit too long, so we're going to get this pulled right now, and then move on to getting some biscuits to go along with this dinner. Got the pan, got the biscuits, let's get things rolling. Biscuits, they are officially done. They look amazing right now. However, while we wait on the corn, still gotta finish making the mashed potatoes. I've already drained all of the water out. Now I gotta actually mash them, and then add some butter and some garlic powder, and they'll be all done. Mashing is all done, now it's time to add some butter. Butter has been added to the mashed potatoes, and the final thing that we need to add is some garlic powder. This gives it, you know, not a bland taste. Potatoes taste okay on their own, but I like to add a little bit of garlic to it just to give it some good flavor. And it smells really good too. And just like that, everything is on the plates and this looks amazing. I cannot wait to just sit down and eat this. I know that it's not wrong to hurt, but mom lost three parents in 1.5 years, so I had to be strong for her. And then Bree moved out and Clay's not around and now the insecure 16 year olds in charge of the house. And when the market crashes, when it all caved in, child support waved in, depressed so I stayed in, or went out and drank until I'm on my knees praying. What is he saying? Lord, help me. Cause I feel like I've been here before. Finished up with dinner over an hour and a half ago. Got things all cleaned up. Finished up with that about 20 minutes ago. And then just spent the last 10 minutes after finishing cleaning up making covers for TikTok. Well, one cover that I was able to, after some rehearsing and only two takes, get done. Honestly, when I talked about TikTok earlier in this vlog, I truly meant it like there is just like this creative spark in my life right now and I'm so happy about it and it's brought about a new passion and motivation for music which is just so awesome because now I'm putting out the covers and I've gotten positive feedback from the covers that I've put out but I just love being able to post fun and creative content, especially the music stuff. Like music has always been my passion no matter what I was doing, whether it was videography or filmmaking or any of the other stuff that I explored over the last few years through YouTube. Music has always been there. Music will always be my number one aside from all of this stuff. And it's something that I always want to make a part of my social media life. And I, I can't wait to see where music takes me in life. But this was a cooking vlog. It wasn't supposed to be a TikTok vlog, although I did mix that in just to let you guys know how that is going. You guys are probably wondering how the food was. Well, everybody freaking loved it from the first bite. The potatoes tasted amazing. The garlic, you could barely tell that it was there, but there was just enough to give it some flavor. The corn was awesome. The biscuits came out amazing. And then the best part of all, the pork. Unfreaking believable. The most tender pork 
I have ever had in my life. The way it was seasoned was awesome. The onions gave it so much flavor. And even though I left it in a little bit too long, although I do not know how accurate that thermometer is because it's old and we really need to get a new one. It like melted in your mouth when you ate it. And even when I was carving it up to put it on plates, like the knife, like it's not the sharpest knife in the world, but the knife just glided right through the freaking meat. Like unbelievable. I love making roast. Now I need to make it with a different kind of rub because that's the fourth roast, either pork or beef, that I've made it with the hickory rub. I want to try something new. Anyway, guys, this is pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. I want to thank you so much for watching because I really do appreciate it. I want to welcome any brand new viewers that are here right now. I love it that you found my videos and I really do hope that you come back for more. If you enjoyed this and you so desired to, slap a like on it. Don't forget to turn those post notifications on down below so that way you never miss when I upload a brand new video to this channel. Also, while you're down there, if you have not already, and I really do not understand why you haven't, you gotta click that big red subscribe button so that way you get subscribed to all of the awesomeness that MJC Vlogs is. And I'll see you guys next time with another brand new vlog. Remember to stay awesome, keep smiling, you're beautiful, and I love you guys so much. Peace out, YouTube. I was really hoping that was gonna work on the first try. I guess I'm just gonna keep begging until it happens.